our members are very much online to join Freelancers Union. You have to sign up through the website. Uh, so that creates the situation where we are building our offline member mobilization strategy at the same time that we're building our online member mobilization strategy and um, are really focused on kind of keeping that integrated and moving forward uh, together. So I think I'll start out talking just really quickly about some of the organizational assets that we have um, that I find at least really helpful as we sort of try to build and develop this strategy. One is to the point, um, to Charles's point, we have a really strong sort of visionary executive director and founder who's very focused on the online aspect of our organizing and is super supportive and puts a lot of pressure on us to think outside the box and, and really try to, you know, marry those two components of our organizing strategy. Um, I think also the fact that our members are online, many of them are in film and television, they're in technology, they are sort of the early adopters of these technologies, they're already on Facebook, they're on Twitter, they're like way, way ahead of our staff even on these things, so it's really a matter of trying to capitalize on where they already are. And they're also, because they're freelancers, they're very networked, because um, they sort of like live or die on their networks, and so they are used to that kind of approach of like finding friends, meeting people, keeping track of like all of your contacts in one place, um, which I think gives us sort of a leg up on those things. Um, just to sort of tell a story about where we have been um, for the last in the last year, we sort of did everything at once. So we did a huge issue campaign around a bill in Albany, and we also. Um, engaged in electoral politics for the first time and we made endorsements in the New York City elections. Um, and so it was really interesting as we, you know, we made our endorsements, we picked our candidates and as we were sort of laying out our member mobilization strategy for how are we going to get these candidates elected, um, we heard from the campaigns we need votes, we need, you know, guaranteed voters, we need volunteers and we need cash. Um, and the strategy to get those things is very much an offline, you know, we need to make phone calls, we gotta, you know, it, it was very much sort of a meat and potatoes organizing campaign, and it was, um, I think our biggest challenge, just to build on what you're saying, is how do you take the online sort of, um, you know, network effects, you're pushing things out, but you don't necessarily know where you're going, you're, you're creating videos and buzz, but you, how do you take the deliverables of those kind of online mm -hmm. tactics and quantify them for campaigns mm -hmm. to show that you are not only de delivering, you know, like those turn into votes, those turn into volunteers, as opposed to the, you know, the phone banks you're doing in your office. And I think um, organizationally, well, like I said, we were, we have a lot of support at the top to do the online components. I think um, at sort of the, actually more the sort of on the ground staff level, and I think I was guilty of this as well, uh, sort of thinking about, okay, are we, what's the online portion and are we just checking a box so we can say we're doing the online thing? Yeah, we put it up on Facebook, we put it on Twitter. Or are we actually committed to like figuring out how to quantify those things and, and sort of like marrying those strategies? Um, I think we had, some success uh, in the online portion, like we made a video with our members and pushed it out and got a lot of traction uh, by having them push it out. It you know, got picked up by blogs, it was funny, it was about like the controller, who, know, who cares about the controller's race, but, but I think like we did get a lot of buzz around that, which was really great, and I think we also had a lot of success with small donation fundraising through online strategies. Um, I think where we sort of failed was we didn't have a lot of time to develop and build the tools that are really kind of the organizing tools, so where you're creating like a platform online for members to come and create their own movement, and you're really, mm -hmm. uh, so, I don't know how to say this exactly, but you know, like we didn't have the tools on the website to say, come here, say you're gonna host a house party, find all your friends and like build it here, the sort of bottom up tools. We did much more of the top down push out. And I think just sort of like a lesson for going forward is, we didn't have the organizational resources to get those up quickly enough. And I think looking over the next year, you know, we're working now to develop those tools to build like the, you know, fundraising, page, like here's your own fundraising page on the Freelancers Union website. Here's your own host a house party page on the Freelancers Union website. And once we have those tools built and ready to go, they will be much easier to sort of integrate into an organizing strategy as needed. So they're already like, you know, plug and play. Um, sort of thing. So.